Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking another episode of my videos. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'll make this salsa de aguacate sin aguacate. Stay tuned. So for this recipe, we're going to use uh, six jalapenos, we're going to use uh, five garlic cloves, we're going to use half an onion, uh, we're going to use salt, and we're going to use uh, one cup of oil. So we're just going to add it into, make sure your pot is actually hot. So you can obviously see the jalapeno is literally poppy. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna add all the jalapenos, we're gonna add all the onion, the garlic, and we're just gonna mix that together very well until it is cooked and softened right. Not burnt, you don't wanna burn. Now that's how they should look. Now we're just gonna add all the ingredients into the blender and we're gonna add the oil, the salt, and just blend it very good. Now we're just gonna use the oil that we cooked all the ingredients in. Do not throw away that oil. Use all of that oil. Uh, this oil is essential to making this salsa nice and smooth and creamy and that texture like the salsa de aguacate sin aguacate. Just add the ingredients, the salt, and blend, blend, blend until it's very nice and smooth. And this is the texture that we're looking for. Look at this color, look at the texture, look at the thickness. You would think that you would add avocados to it, but you don't. It is amazing, right? So this is the end result of the salsa de aguacate sin aguacate. This salsa is literally amazing. You could eat it with tortas, quesadillas, tacos, literally even eat it with chips. That's how amazing this salsa is. Go ahead and try this recipe if you have not tried it. It is literally amazing. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.